Anatomy of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The sternocleidomastoid muscle, also known as a sternomastoid muscle, is one of the largest and most superficial cervical muscles located in the superficial layers on the side of the neck. Origin. The sternocleidomastoid muscle has two heads. It has a sternal head and a clavicular head. The sternal head arises from the sternal manubrium. The clavicular head arises from the medial portion of the clavicle. The insertion, it is inserted into the lateral surface of the mastoid process of the temporal bone and the lateral half of the superior nuchal line of the occipital bone, as you can see here in this diagram. Here is the muscle from origin to insertion. Nerve supply. The spinal accessory nerve provides motor innervation to the sternocleidomastoid muscle and also to the trapezius muscle. Function. The function of the sternocleidomastoid muscle is to tilt the head to the same side and rotate the head to the opposite side. Both parts of the muscle together tilt the head down. The sternocleidomastoid muscle divides the neck into a posterior triangle and anterior triangle. Clinical situations involving the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Contracture of the sternocleidomastoid muscle in infants. It is called congenital muscular torticollis. It is packaging deformity typically caused by contracture of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The infant holds his or her head tilted to one side and has difficulty turning the head due to a tight, shortened sternocleidomastoid muscle. The sternocleidomastoid muscle also plays a role in displacement of fractured clavicle. And you can see it here. It pulls the proximal fragment up, while the distal fragment is displaced downwards by gravity and the weight of the arm. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.